As we continue to look at the methods that Satan uses against us, we come to bitterness. Now, bitterness is a deep-seated ill will resulting in a sharp or unpleasant attitude. And it manifests itself in resentfulness, sharp sarcasm, deep distress, grief, and even vexation of the mind. Bitterness actually comes from the soul. It's an emotional response. Over in Job chapter 7 and verse 11, when Job was facing the issues that he had, because remember, Job, the reason God allowed Satan to do this to Job was so that we actually could understand Satan's methods. So over in Job chapter 7 and verse 11, we get a response from Job who is in this, and he's a bit bitter. And here we see, therefore, I will not restrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Well, coming out from the soul means it's an emotional response. Over in Job chapter 10 and verse 1, we also see a very similar statement. My soul loathes my life. I will give free course to my complaint. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. Now, from here, you see that that bitterness is going to bring out complaining. And complaining can lead to sin. Bitterness actually poisons the mind. And it binds us with unrighteousness. And it will ultimately work out defilement. We see over in Acts chapter 8 and verse 23, an example with Simon the sorcerer, who was seeking to gain power over the people. After becoming a believer, he sees the laying on of hands and what happens in relation to the Holy Spirit, and he wants his power, and he's rebuked for it. In Acts chapter 8 and verse 23, we see, For I discern you are unto a poison of bitterness and a chain of unrighteousness. So bitterness in itself is unrighteous. It's not sin. Remember, unrighteousness is the bigger term. But, of course, all sin has a quality of unrighteousness. So unrighteousness, if it's not dealt with, will actually lead to sin. We also see over in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 15 where it says, looking carefully, at least anyone should fall from the grace of God. At least any root of bitterness spring up causing trouble. And because of this, many become defiled, that is, they pollute themselves. Bitterness is an attitude that we as believers should not have. It should be put away from us. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 31, let all bitterness, wrath, anger, calamity, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Bitterness is a reaction from unbelievers. Romans chapter 3 and verse 14, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness, and he's talking about all of us having gone astray. He's talking about unbelievers. But we are now believers, and bitterness needs to be put away from us. Now, for bitterness to really actually set in, a Christian has to actually stop recognizing his or her position in grace before God. This allows Satan to plant a seed of bitterness that's going to poison the mind. And it's going to poison the mind with resentfulness and result in a sharp, bitter, and unpleasant demeanor and ultimately lead a person into sin. When we feel bitterness setting in, what we need to do as Christians is remind ourselves of who we are in Christ, of the grace that we actually have from God. Remember, grace is God's attitude whereby he gives us a benefit without consideration of merit. The grace that we have is because of what Christ did for us. And we need to be reminded of that. We continually have God's grace for us. And yeah, there are things in this life that are unfair. There are even times when Christians actually treat us unfairly, when they do things that really shouldn't even be spoken among the saints to us. We should not allow that to bring bitterness into our lives, because we have a position of grace before God, and that position does not ever change. It's something we need to remind ourselves of. Of course, since this is an attack from Satan, we do need to put on the armor from God. That's how we defeat Satan. Don't be foolish and think that you can get around that. Put on the armor, stand firm. We do not want to let this worm actually plant a seed of bitterness in our hearts that's going to end up causing us to sin because we're resentful about something that's happened in our life. Christ came 
down here and died for our sins. God raised him from the dead, showing that in him we are righteous. We are saved by grace, out from faith. We need to not let Satan take advantage of us. But in response to bitterness, once we put on that armor, we need to be kind towards each other, tenderhearted, even being gracious to ourselves, just as God in Christ was gracious to us.